Morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on the little Zetek S Fiesta replica. God, that's so hard to say. <laughs> anyway, in today's video, we're gonna finish the little bit of welding underneath the seal, grind down all of the welds, uh, get it cleaned up and get some filler on it and try and get it ready for some paint. So uh, I'm gonna crack on uh, start grinding and we'll see you very soon. There we go guys, my ears are ringing. All the welds ground down and we can put a little skim over these, make these look pretty. Uh, all through the top there and all the plug welds down there, uh, up there, down there and down there. I've still got to put it on axle stands and do that little tiny bit underneath, but uh, I'll do that in a mo. Um, I've actually got another unit to go and look at today, so I'm just waiting for a phone call and I'm gonna bugger off over there and have a look. But we're gonna get as far as we can get with this and uh, yeah, we'll go forward from there. See you in a bit. And five minutes later, the phone rings. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm off to go and have a look at this unit now um, with my mate Gal. Uh, this one is right near Stansted Airport. I don't know whether it'll work out for us or not, but um, we can't not look at it. It's really, really hard to find something suitable. Um, this is probably big enough for um, both of us, me to have a booth, prep area, bits I need, and Gal to have a little detailing room. If that would work out, pucker. Um, if not, it, it's back to the drawing board again. Um, I don't have to share a unit, uh, it's just that he come up with an idea and where we are up here, where he's, he is, 
the whole strip of units on where Heat Gow's unit is, unfortunately, the council have come up and condemned it. The landlord didn't have planning permission, so that's got. To, I think that's got to get all knocked down. Uh, I still haven't had my letter yet. I might even lose my yard that I've got up the end because I don't know if the yard is supposed to be there. But unfortunately, I've got to try and find Gow a unit as well. <laughs> So I was like, well, listen, if we can find one big enough to share, um, obviously I'll have all my sections sorted and we'll build you a puck of detailing um, room and, yeah, go from there, innit? So we're both looking and we'll see what sort of happens. But if it's big enough, then I can have a booth, a prep area and some room and we can build a nice little detailing studio, then uh, it's win-win for both of us. So uh, it ain't a problem. Um, Gal doesn't use anything with silicon. I've got the same sort of equipment as him and the same sort of setup to be fair. So in all fairness, uh, I would have the same wa wash stuff all set up. I mean, over here, I know loads of you have seen me use it. So this is my jet wash up here behind all this. This is uh, from a company called Direct Hoses. This is a, called a black, uh, no, a gray, Grey 11, I think this one's called. It's a commercial unit. It's actually a puck of jet wash. Uh, obviously, there's my water feed. This is what I use all the time, my sink. So we plug that in, I turn the water on, and then it runs to my hose. Uh, and then I've got um, a Sutner gun and quick release attachment, and I can put my stubby lance on it or my full size lance and then snow foam bottles and stuff like that so i've got the same sort of setup as what gary has anyway which i have set up all the time so i can use it so it makes no difference if the unit's big enough and we build him a nice little detailing studio um then yeah game on it would work for me and for him and the poor sod's got to find somewhere quick time. Uh, I feel really sorry for him. I know my unit's knackered, but I'm still managing to work at the moment. But he has got like three weeks left to get out, which is awful. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have a look. When I come back, we'll crack on with this. We want to get that finished, welded, get all this filled today and sorted out. Um, so yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to be gone or up there or what have you, but as soon as I get back, then we'll crack on. For you, it'll be a couple of seconds, but for me, it'll be as long as it is. So, see you in a bit. I'm back. I've had a look, and it's very late, and it's sort of ruined all my plans for today. But I might be taking it. <laughs> uh, it's looking very promising. I've got to let the guy know in the morning. I want to go home and talk to the boss and see what she thinks, show her some pictures. Um, I've pretty much got enough room to have a booth. Prep area is nearly as wide as my workshop is now. Fit another handful of cars in front of the booth, no dramas. Can build a decent detailing studio and still have storage and still put my Mark II in there. Uh, so on a nice little trading estate, literally right next door to Stansted Airport. Um, you literally have to drive right up to the airport and then just behind the airport. Uh, I think it could work. I'm going to crunch the numbers, work out uh, whether I can afford. It's not afford the unit, it's afford to buy a brand new booth, move, do everything. Uh, I'm going to have to work out what's got to go like the nova might have to go on ebay the reno i'll take with me um but it's all happening a bit quick <laughs> i've got to make a decision in the morning otherwise the unit's gone uh gal really wants it i need to talk to the missus it's a bit more of a commute to go work every day but i do honestly think it'll work and if i do take that and get a brand new booth then I'm probably going to not do nowhere near as much salvage and I'm going to start painting for people. I'm technically going to start a fresh business um, and go forward from there. Uh, proper body shop sort of thing. Um, so it's a massive decision to make, but the unit is good 
it needs a bit of love inside but it's plenty big enough for what we need uh, I really think it could work so this might be well yeah this might be the one we'll have to uh, see I've got to do a bit of thinking speak to uh, the governor see what she thinks and go forward from there so that's sort of scarped my plans I've run <laughs> out of time usually I ain't going to see no action today uh, I've got to get a bit of fiberglass put on these over these joints and these welds um, before I put some filler on so I'm going to do that now uh, I really want to go home show her the pictures talk to her and see what the missus thinks um, and go from there really uh, it's always stressful and worrying, all this kind of stuff. But in all fairness, um, I've got enough. So I've got enough. I'd like to think that I've got enough customers anyway uh, who would want work done the minute I say that I am working again. So I'm not overly fussed. I can smash the advertising. I can afford to pay for the unit by doing what I'm doing now. Um, that's not too much of an issue, but that's not what I want to do. If I'm going to go all out, I want to go all out and do it properly. So this is the bit where it's worrying for me because it's a massive investment and I've got to start all over again. Uh, so yeah, anyway, enough waffling. This video ain't had much work happening in it. Let me knock up some fiberglass um, filler and get it around all these welds and I'll see you in a moment. got me uh well i call it bridge gap always call it bridge gap got me fiberglass on now uh the reason i use fiberglass um is because it's not porous normal body feel is porous and this is non-porous so always use that first for things like that block that down and put a skim of filler over it so we'll have that all looking nice um we'll get that sorted i can't concentrate <laughs> I've got to go home and make some decisions. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one, but it's what I knew was coming anyway. Um, the shop, my shop will be gone next week uh, and I had to make a decision to do something, no matter what. I've been looking, well, I've been looking since the saga with the roof, to be honest. It took that long to find something that, that, uh, that I could move into. Uh, and this just came up um, it's one of them things so I think in all fairness I think I think I'm probably going to go for it um, yeah start afresh sod it <laughs> but yeah it just means used lot might not have um, as much sort of salvage footage you still have painting stuff and what I do and get up to and what have you I'm not knocking it on the head um, there'll be just just as many videos and what have you but uh, things just might change a little. Um, but yeah, other than that, hopefully things will pan out well. Um, what do you think I should do? Here you go. <laughs> you guys uh, always comment on things and let me know. You let me know what you reckon. Do you reckon I should go out, go all out and open up body shop and start working for everyone? I've got to do something no matter what. Um, so I have no income coming in. But yeah, I think this will work. I think it's suitable. Um, the only problem is I won't be able to do big, big projects as such because if you're going to do that, then I need to be painting bumpers, rear quarters, little jobs, lots of them in and out the door sort of thing. Uh, might have one over in the corner uh, working on sort of thing, one at a time. But yeah, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment and uh, we'll go from there. I'm going home. My head's all over the place. I've got a lot of uh, thinking to do so uh yeah sorry there ain't been much <laughs> work in this video when is there ever to be honest this is my life this is how things go but uh i've got things to sort out now and uh big decisions to make so um that's it from me today um i'll see you very soon on the next one stay safe 
ਹਾਂ ਪਈ ਲੱਗ ਗਈ 